Y'all remember the passport bros? Those men of all races that were like, oh, American women, they're just too difficult. American women, they just won't listen. American women, American women. So they got their passports and they were like, we can find docile and submissive women in other parts of the world. You know, all we got to do is go out there and just tell them we're American and, you know, they'll swoon on us and they'll woo us. And Passport bros are getting killed. Oh, Lord. Here we go with the drastic scenarios. Like people don't get killed in general. Like people don't get killed in America. Like women don't take men in situations and get them killed. Or men don't kill other men. Give me a break with all of this and your little green curly hair that you got on top of your head with the passport bros down 100 points. It's interesting to me that you guys seem to say that you don't care an awful lot, but you continuously make these damn videos. They're going out, they're meeting strangers, they're getting killed, they're getting set up, they're getting killed. And on top of that, the men in those countries are tired of y'all looking at their women as just objects to f on because American women just won't let you anymore. Really? How do you know? Do you talk to these men in these other countries? Or is it just that you're trying to create your own narrative? Because you're lonely and you're single and you can't find black men that want to deal with you. Hmm. There's a travel advisory out there now. Y'all be safe, gentlemen. Okay? They don't want you. We don't want you. Try doing better. Okay? It's not about the women being more submissive. It's about you actually giving them something to follow. Y'all be safe. Completely ridiculous. Again, if you don't care why you're making videos, if you don't want black men, or you don't want men that have passports, then why are you making a video about it? Why do you care? You see, y'all have told men for so long that you don't care. Then men decide, okay, I'm going to start doing this passport thing and I'm going to start really traveling around the world. And then you get mad at that, but you didn't care. So now you're upset that men are choosing other women over you. And what you're saying happens all over the place in small numbers. It's not an epidemic. It's not something that happens all the time. But of course you want to push that narrative because you're happy just being miserable and lonely because black men don't want to deal with you and your attitude. It is what it is. Again, if you don't care, stop making videos. It's not helping your cause. You're talking about those women don't want this and that. Let me break it down to you. Men have been traveling the world for years. Men have been marrying women from overseas for years. The United States itself is a big multi-melting multi pot of all people from all different countries that come here and become United States citizens. So for you to sit there and say that these people in these other countries are somehow stupid, dumb, or uh, um, straight up uh, killers and all these type of thing, you're just making, making a broad sweep over all these people and putting all these labels. But I know that's what you're used to because that's what you do to men here. You take your paintbrush and you just swipe it across all men and label all men the same. It's all the men that you can't get. You're jealous of that. But you don't want to change your attitude. Men shouldn't have to give you a damn reason to be feminine. Men shouldn't have to convince you to stop acting like men. Men shouldn't have to convince you to be who you are as a person. This is what men are tired of. Men are tired of trying to convince women to tell women to be feminine. When the whole time women expect men to be masculine at all times, 100% of the time, men can't have a turn off switch. You don't hear women walking around saying, you know what, you, honey, you can turn on the masculine switch whenever you want to. You can turn it on. You can turn it off. You can, it can be a faucet. Whenever you decide to just turn it on. And whenever you want to uh, turn it off, just turn it off. You don't hear that because men are supposed to be masculine providers and do all these things that they've done through the history of people, history of the human race at all times. But when it comes to women, it's selective. Oh, you got to show me something. You got to show me some money. And that's what it really boils down to. You got to show me some money. And then you got to show me that I could talk to you any kind of way. I can disrespect you any kind of way. I can embarrass you in front of other people any kind of way. 
because you're just supposed to handle me because I'm this strong woman. And in this case, I'm this strong black woman. I tell you what, why don't you guys go past the last 50 years and look how women used to act? Tap into that because those women were happier than you were. Those women succeeded where you're failing. If it wasn't for those women, you wouldn't even be here. I wouldn't be here. My mama wouldn't be here, etc., etc., etc. But y'all live in this fantasy that tells you that everything that those women did back then were wrong. And that all the men, the men that they were in relationships with were tyrants that were oppressors. And it's all lies. It's all lies. You wouldn't be able to be on that phone that you're on recording that video, sitting in that house that you're recording a video in, wearing that hair product that you got in your hair and everything else that men have contributed to this society and built to this society. You wouldn't have none of that if it wasn't for the very men that you keep complaining about, that you keep trying to throw under the bus. A lot of you black women have nasty, stanky ass attitudes, and that's just the bottom line. But you don't want to admit that. There's no, you know, mystery why men don't want to deal with you. And it's not just black men. It's men in general. So, yeah, a man will take his chances finding happiness somewhere else, whether it's around the corner from you or across the damn water from you. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.